Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today I'm taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Cartoon Low Poly City Pack. So this is a uh, free pack, which I'm assuming is going to be part of a larger pack, but let's take a look at the asset itself. So quality-wise, it's fairly nice. You know, it's it's not massively detailed, but when you come to stuff like low poly, that's to be expected. There is a specific kind of style that people like about low poly. I myself do like low poly style, but only if it's pulled off just right. So quantity wise with this, even though it's a free pack, we actually get a fairly decent amount. A couple of buildings there, a couple of cars, roads, sidewalk, and even the street lamps. So let's take a look at the folder itself. Uh, we get all the materials we need within that single one material. Obviously, they're mapped to where they need to go for each individual item. We get all the models here, and you can see we get things here, even this little trash can there, which is just here in the scene. Um, we get the prefabs, obviously, and we get the scene. It comes with demo scene. I love demo scenes. You guys know I love demo scenes. And we get the textures. So, in the way of extras, is there many extras? Well, you couldn't really count too much of this. I mean, it is just a demonstration of a larger pack. But for a demonstration, I think it's good enough. But you do also get these here, which are things like the uh, HDRP and the lightweight render pipeline packages for it as well. So if you're using them, you can use them here because I'm just using just a, a 3D scene here. So I like the cars in this more than anything i think because if we look at the cars yeah they're great however if we go into a little bit more detail with them we can see that they're actually split out so if you wanted to animate this you absolutely could the wheels are separate completely so you could animate them spin them around so how easy is this pack to use very easy it's the same as any other pack that you would find you can move things around, do whatever you need to. How customizable is it? Well, again, that's down to you. You could add a little bit of post-processing and see how it looks there. You can see that adds a little bit of extra oomph to the scene. Although it's just a simple scene, I still feel that adding a little bit of post-processing really adds to the effect of what you see here. So it is versatile in that respect, easy to use, and you can change things. You know, if you wanted to, I don't know, change the road for whatever reason again always play around with some of these assets you can see here because this is all one material anything you change on that material would impact the entire scene but you can see how much i'm changing it now so obviously changing it all to red gives it that kind of red dark eerie creepy feel so it is customizable to that respect however you just have to remember that the material itself is one whole material for everything is just mapped differently to each object so just keep that in mind if you do want to change things around in the scene how useful is this well i can see this being quite useful for a variety of games if you just want to make a simple little cut scene this is going to be great it's going to be absolutely fantastic just build it up a little bit more and you could create a really short low poly movie of some cars driving past, some people walking, but you know, just anything like that that you want to try out. And I can see these some of these props being used in, let's say, a mobile game, something like a hyper casual game. So I can see that fitting in quite well there. Folders all nice and neatly laid out. Always good to see folders laid out like this. You wouldn't believe the amount of assets that do exist where they're just crammed in together and they're just an absolute mess. Um, I do think Unity probably has clamped down a little bit on that in recent years, but I do remember many, many years ago getting some assets and they were just a mess. So it, it is always good to see the neat folders. So how big is this package? Well, that's good. It is just a megabyte. And you would expect that in a low poly style because there's not a lot to this. And it's always good to see such a small amount. So this is kind of geared towards... Uh, mobile devices I would say more than anything so as you guys know I don't rate assets either recommend them or I don't recommend them and I think I would recommend this to be honest because it's a nice a simple asset and if you're looking for something simple for a game this is going to do just fine even if you just want for example this building here it's going to be great if you're a beginner to unity this is going to be great just to kind of work your way around with a little bit work out what is what and perhaps even try animating those cars to get them moving a little bit, just as a little test. So for beginners, yeah, I'd say this is a pretty decent asset. So 
Guys, what do you think of this asset? Have you used it? If you have, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And uh, if you've got an asset on the Unity Asset Store, please let me know because I'd love to check it out, just like I do with all of these assets. And once uh, again, if click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon, you'd do me a massive favor because you'll be able to keep up to date with all these uh, game development videos that I create on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.